so we are in Photoshop let's create a new document the size will be standard HD 1920 and 1080 hit on create so take that type tool from here and type the text so here I am typing red row make it bigger right click of this layer and convert to smart object the right click of this layer and go to blending options now select the color overlay the give a color for now we'll change it later and stroke the stroke will be uh, 5 to 10 uh, 8 for this perfect the position will be outside color will be any darker color for now we can go with black hit on ok click on ok now select this layer and press ctrl J to copy this layer and select the move tool from the tool and using the up arrow and left arrow we will move this type so let's let's hit the up arrow button for 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and use the left arrow to move this 10 times in left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can do this automatically but to make this tutorial super simple I am uh, using manual method okay so se select this layer and press ctrl J again and repeat the same process 10 times in up and 10 times left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so repeat the process for two times more So we are done. Uh, so now let's color the uh, text. So we have a we have a color plate for these. So this is the color plate we will using for these. So take this and take it to on our document. Let's keep it here. You can find these colors uh, by searching them. They are 70 or 80 color colors plate. Okay, so so click on these one of these. Double click double click of this FX button FX here and click on color overlay and change the color so I'm gonna give this okay for stroke black 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 will be fine keep it up and the next one click on the FX and select the color overlay and select one of those color one of these color I'm gonna for this I'm gonna using uh, this blue blue color okay so the third one
okay so we are done with the color now delete this uh, color reference image we don't need this now we'll uh, we'll give a realistic shadow so to create a shadow I'm gonna copy a smart object layer from this to select uh, one of these layer so I'm gonna using the bottom layer uh, the first one so just uh, make a copy of this press ctrl J and uh, move this layer just below all of this layer and change this name to shadow now double click of these effects now for this layer we don't need any stroke uh, in this color overlay we'll use the completely black color for the shadow okay so now go to filter blur and motion blur so as you can see the motion blur give uh, giving a really fantastic and realistic shadow drop shadow effect for this so the angle will be 45 degree and the distance will be 100 pixel so click on ok so I, I want to and now I want a mood shadow so select the shadow layer and press ctrl J to make a copy so for, for this click on the smart filter motion blur since uh, this is a smart object we can adjust them anytime you want and for this we'll use the distance uh, 50 50 pixel so this will give a smooth transition in the shadows so we are almost done so hold on shift and select the first uh, layer and the top layer so all the layers will be selected now press ctrl J to make a group you can name this uh, text effect okay so here is the text effects now we will work on on the background so delete this background we don't need this so now select this the adjustment layer and select solid color now select any color and move this in below the text effect now click on this thumbnail and you can you can give any color of your choice you can take you can take color from these so you can try yellow blue red so blue seems good to me okay so we are using the blue okay so we are almost done now now here is a grainy grungy texture just place this texture in, in photoshop and make it bigger and change the blend mode to screen so as you can see as you can see this is uh, giving this effect a grungy rusty effect as you can see here is the before and here is the after so you can ch uh, change the feel a little bit down uh, like 50 percent uh, oh, that is great so we are almost done to this simple retro effect so since we converted this layer and and maintain the smart object we can change this effect anytime we want so click any of this layer on the smart object here is the smart object icon you can click on so I'm gonna click on this smart object icon double click of this and 
here is the text so take the crop tool and make a little bit more space for this now you can change the text just click on ctrl s just save this document and see the message this will automatically change this just a second so i hope you like this tutorial if so don't forget to subscribe and share thank you